Hello all, welcome to a special edition of Cooper's Commentaries. This edition is all about the ranged. Ranged professions versus melee professions. Melee and ranged are split when we obviously fight in World v World, GVGs, all that jazz. Usually there'll be two commanders, one lead in the melee group, one lead in the ranged group. I am showing you today um, a brief, very basic, ranged guide in open field fights. So I've got a few fights here, about five or six fights, that I just want to quickly talk over. Some of them show mistakes, some of them show strengths. So we'll talk over them, what's good, what's bad. Let's go. So to kick things off, we'll go over a few basics of how ranged position themselves without even looking at any clips yet. Um, the range commander tag is a general positional um, location. You don't have to stack tightly on the commander tag like you do with the melee train. The ranged is more like satellites orbiting the sun. So if you imagine the commander as the sun and um, all the other ranged players will be orbiting around in random places, anywhere they can find where it's safe, where there's no AoE, you're not in any trouble from any pushes or anything like that. It's just a general, you need to be in that general area where that commander tag is of the ranged. Um, if you're fighting against a group that is very defensive, if your enemy are very defensive in that they, they're playing pirate ship or they're not pushing or they're retreating, your ranged can be extremely aggressive. They can be right in their face, depending on distance of um, skill use. So, like you can be at max range, but being aggressive, you don't want to be do you don't want to be too close in case you get pulled in or you know you get AOE bombed from the enemy range group doing the same thing. Um, you want to be right on the cusp of that uh, right on the cusp of that range. So at max range, right at the front. You want to be hitting them as as soon as you can. If it's a defensive group, that is, this this group you have to be facing has to be very defensive. Um, and counter to that, if you're against an aggressive enemy, if the enemy group is pushing to you, you have to then swap that round and play a bit more defensive. So you're a bit back, um, but maintain that maximum range. So if if the melee pushes to you, you back away. If they pull away, you push to them. So it's a, a back and two, back and two. So if we watch the first clip, as you can see, they've stopped to stack. Our melee train is now behind me. I push straight to the enemy group. No waiting for the melee train. Go straight to them, start getting damage onto them. They push towards slightly, so I back away. Our melee train is pushing around the left, so I push on a secondary flank around the right-hand side. And if you look, I stay on the right-hand side, pushing into the back of their group, because their melee ball's got to retreat through our AoE. I use the green squad icon to drop the AoE bomb, so that's the well spike. Um, you can see we've been hardly touched, so we just remain aggressive. This group's very defensive, so we just keep pushing and keep pushing as a ranged group. And we stay on the opposite side to the melee, our melee train. So we're getting absolutely free farm here, untouched, easy, easy kills. So I'll do a quick recap of this. So if you manage, if you're a ranged group and you push aggressively to another group, if you catch them up whilst they're empowering, the, they're free hits. Look at that! I'm taking no damage, but I'm getting my damage onto them. It's not very much damage, but damage nonetheless. So any damage before the fight starts goes in your favour. An extremely important aspect is to push on two fronts. You want your melee ball to be pushing on one side and your ranged damage to be hitting on another side, depending on what you're fighting against. Sometimes you want to combine the two and go for a big damage on a certain uh, certain side of the group, so left side or right side of the ball. You want to combine your damage together so you both spike at the same space, at the same place. Um, in open field fights, big open space, you want to be hitting on two sides, left and right, front and back, however you want to say it. 
So in this clip you can see Melly's pushing around the left, big open space on the right hand side, so our ranged push on the right hand side. Um, if you, as you can see, as they start retreating from our melee train, they have to retreat through our well spike because um, we drop our damage as far. We drop our damage as far into where they're running as we can, so they have to run through our damage to get away. Um, because they're being defensive, our melee, our ranged are completely free to do what they like. Are absolutely under no pressure at all. So, as soon as they decided to retreat, was when this fight was lost. <laughs> the second clip is similar to the first clip, so I won't go into detail about this one, but we're ramming a gate, group comes in behind us, I hide a little bit, I'm back a bit because they're a bit too close, I've got nowhere to retreat to. They push to us with their melee train, so I would just well spike as soon as they get to us. Um, they start retreating off, so it instantly our range get aggressive, get back into their face when they pull away. Um, we're free on the right hand side, there's, there's no, nothing on the right hand side, so we move around the right. We can see there's a second group uh, peeled off to be a, a, one of their range group or something, so we just have a little range v range battle. Um, I'm really close to their melee ball now, and they turn and push towards us, so I have to back away. So this is that being aggressive, defensive range they've got to do. Stay, keep maintain that range distance. So if they go defensive, you push. If they get aggressive, you retreat. So now they're getting defensive, they're backing away. So I push. This is where they wipe because they get themselves cornered. And then we just well spike wherever they go. And that's that's the fight over. A few stragglers left, but we'll we won't go over it too bad too much. So the important thing to take away from that fight, yes, it was very similar. Yes, we pushed on a different flank to our melee train, but more importantly, when when that melee ball turned on to, to face our ranged, we backed away. Okay, so this third clip is a uh, choke point fight, so choke point fights are very difficult to do as a ranged. Uh, if you push for a choke point against an enemy group, they're just going to spike the hell out of that choke point. So if you can see now the AoEs on the floor, there's just so many AoEs, um, so you just cannot push through a uh, choke point. <coughs> luckily, luckily in this fight we have an over, over the head, we have a staircase on this left hand side that we can go up. Um, so I'm waiting for our melee train to push through and then safe enough for us to drop down. So I drop down. What I don't see behind this tree is their melee train turn around. So our, me our range get hit so hard. We have to self-spike on our own tag. So we spike wherever that melee ball goes to get them off our range. Otherwise, we're just going to get trained to death. Find a safe place to retreat to. So we're backing away once they're aggressive. As soon as they get defensive, our range go back on the aggression. Focus kills. Get your rallies. Um, and then just continue to push. <coughs> so there's not many of them left, so this is where the fight's won. Um, so to take from that fight is uh, choke points. You want to basically wait five seconds before you push through a choke point. Um, if they spike the choke point, AOE on the ground lasts generally five, six seconds. So when you see big AOE circles, big red circles on the floor, in your head count to five, then push through. Um, as long as your melee train pushes through first, obviously. Um, you you want to follow your melee train but wait 5 seconds and try and just throw damage through the choke points as much as you can uh, before you actually go through to make sure it's clear and safe. So this is where the fight was won. Their melee pushed and got over aggressive, got too aggressive and because of our range spike was too much for their melee to handle we wiped their melee train. Um, and that was where they lost the fight. This next clip just shows you the power of um, having two pushes. You have the, me the melee push and the range push. So as you can see as we go through this green portal, big spike, just get out of it as soon as you can. Um, you can't do nothing about that. But as you can see our melee ball has gone down the left hand side. And you can see the Zerg is split into two left and right sides. So I pick the right hand side. There's a nice ball of players there on the right. So that's where our range spike goes. Absolutely decimates them. And um, we just clean up all these kills. Our melee ball is still pushing, so they're retreating. Absolutely free kills. So our melee pushed one side, ranged fit cleaned up the other side, um, and then the rest of them just had to run away because there was no one left. So this clip is very similar to the clip we just watched, except I get a bit too aggressive, um, and I'll show you why now. So you can see it's a similar setup, same same area of the map, same setup, group in front of us, green portal, all that stuff. So our melee again, once again go down the left hand side, I want to push down the right hand side on the secondary flank, there's a lot of AoE to walk through, so there's my first mistake, is I take a lot of damage, I end up having to use my heal before the fight's even started, um, but once we get through, 
it's absolute free cast. There's absolutely no pressure. Free casting on this group on the right hand side. Um, but then I get too aggressive once again. I'm pushing right deep. Um, and I get forced to have to use my plague skill because this melee ball once again pushes around the tree and I don't see it. I'm too close to the melee ball and I get swarmed by their melee. Luckily I've got plague obviously. Um, and the fight's already over by the time I'm in trouble. But I was in trouble then. If, if they was to uh, stay alive um, and actually spike on me there, I would have been dead. So that was poor positioning on my part. I was too close to the melee ball. I couldn't see them behind that tree. And I would have died to that push had they been successful. So this next clip shows you what a melee and a range spike together can do to wipe a group. Um, here you can see that we taking the tower and then the enemies come in from the portal behind um, so we just play it like a normal fight we have melee on one side range try and stay on the other side um, as you can see the zerg looks like it's in two groups there's like a group on the far right side just buffed and the group on the left hand side could be their range group with a similar setup to what our side of our piking server is doing right now with ranged melee um, you can see our melee push onto their melee so it's melee v melee so melee v melee fight it's all about rally walls so we want to spike the same place as the melee so you want to get as much damage as you can on the same place look at that area on the floor from both groups big big kill zone right there lots of rallies so i push deep now since they're being defensive range get aggressive pushing deep finish the kills focus kills and pull away now look at all those downed we've got um so that's half the group gone so now they're being super super defensive, they're actually starting to run away. So we as a range group can just push as much as we can until they turn around. So this is where the fight's over. They're running, they're going up the wall, and we just finish off as much as we can. So to take from that fight, you want to take both the melee and the ranged group, spike in the same position, absolutely decimated them in a melee versus melee fight, as it is a rally wall when you've got massive... AoE spikes going off at the same time in them in, in this massive kill zone. Um, the follow-up thing for the range to do is as the as the melee ball retreats to go heal up, empower, whatever they want to do, move around for a second push. Uh, you want to push that advantage and and again stay aggressive. If they get defensive, you get aggressive, and if they get aggressive, you get defensive. So a, a quick recap is um, range the melee separate groups range tag melee tag range you want to stay around the commander tag don't stack tight onto it just that's the general position you want to stand if you're against the enemy group that is extremely defensive range you want to get there as fast as you can and start damaging them because that is free damage as soon as they get aggressive you want to retreat back hide behind your melee ball whatever you want to do get to a safe place um, if they get aggressive as soon as they pull off for a retreat to heal up um, empower or go push on the second flank like in the last clip you want to show straight back into them straight back to that aggressiveness because if you can get any poison fields things like that onto their healing that massively diminishes their healing capabilities on a regroup um, and all the AOE just general damage as much as you can on enemy regroups get there as fast as you can I won't repeat myself too much um, or try not to when you do push on a group um, during a fight you want to try and flank or hit a secondary a secondary side to the group um, so you want to if the melee is pushing around the left you want to hit the right if the melee is pushing in the front you want to try and hit the back um, and also try and place your AOE in the direction that the enemy is running so if they're running away you want to place it in front of them to run over if they're running towards you you want to place it on top of yourself so they run into it um, which is a self spike um, against choke points you want to wait for the AOE to clear before you push through usually five seconds um, and then follow your melee train five seconds later if they push through um, other than that I hope this video was helpful um, I'm not the greatest ranged player obviously I haven't played ranged in a world v world group for probably three years now but um, I hope someone finds this useful Anyway, that's been that video. Done, finished, gone. Right, go play.